in this video we are going to start state space analysis up to now we used to take transfer function techniques to analyze any system so here from this class we are going to start state space analysis used to analyze this system so first of all before getting into the subject we will know some basics about this state space analysis first of all what is meant by state and what is meant by state variable and what is meant by state vector so here we used to get some idea and after this we will analyze the system by using state space analysis in that analysis you are supposed to get this type of words state state variable and state vector so that this better to take a knowledge about these three so now what is meant by a state it is the group of variables which summarizes the history of the system in order to predict the future value so here this state is nothing but the present state of the system which is nothing but the present state of the system is nothing but that is summation of all the history all all the previous values which is supposed to predict the future value so that's why so we can say the state is nothing but a group of variables which summarizes the history of the system in order to predict the future data so here state is because of the history and used to predict the future so this is nothing but state now we are in this state is because of our history and this state can predict our future value so that is nothing but state of any system for example if you are having any dynamic system if you know that dynamic system at t equal to t0 that means at initial conditions if you know so that initial conditions came because of the history of that system and the system response at t equal to t0 if you applied t greater than or equivalent to t0 values that by that value we can predict the future values of the system so state is because of the history and used to predict the future value of the system and coming to state variable this is the smallest set of variables that determines the state of the system so this is smallest set of state variables we can say state variable is nothing but the smallest set of variables which variables that variables determines the state of the system or known as state variables so for example if you want to determine a state state of the system if you want to determine the state of the system whatever the variables you require that set is nothing but state variable the smallest set of variables which used to determine the state of the system is nothing but state variable and now here uh, for example we can take uh, in a capacitor the initial voltage of the capacitor we can take as state variable why because this came from from history and that initial conditions or initial voltage of the capacitor with that we can determine the state of that system so like that voltage in the capacitor initial voltage in the capacitor or initial current in the inductor we can take as an example for state variable and now we will get into state vector what is meant by a state vector it is the vector which contains the state variables as elements so here state variable is nothing but the set of variables which determines the state here state vector is nothing but it is the vector which contains state variables as its elements if a vector contains state variables as elements then we can say that is a state vector for example if you taken capacitor the initial voltage of the capacitor can be treated as a state variable and the current initial current in the inductor can be taken into an example for state variable 
if you are having those two variables in a vector you can say that is a state vector because the vector containing the elements that elements are state variables so that's why we can say that vector as a state vector okay we got an idea simple idea about what is meant by state and what is meant by state variable and what is meant by state vector now we'll see advantages and disadvantages of state space analysis as we are having transfer function techniques and before in control systems topic we have discussed so many topics to analyze the system then what is the need for this state space analysis as we are having so many techniques prior to this so what is the advant advantage of the state space analysis means these are the advantages of the state space analysis over other techniques the first advantage is analysis is done by considering initial conditions this is most considerable advantage no need to have all the conditions of the system just by knowing the initial conditions of the system we can estimate the future values or we can estimate the output or we can analyze the system so the main advantage of this state space analysis is nothing but here we can do analysis on system based on initial conditions so this is one of the advantage we can take and more accurate than transfer function techniques It, up to now in so many techniques to analyze the system we have considered the transfer function forms so whatever the results there you are getting for analyzation of system compared to this this one is more accurate this will provide more accurate analysis compared to transfer function related techniques so now coming to third advantage analysis of multi input and multi output system will be made easy by this technique if you are taking transfer function if you are having single input and single output transfer function is nothing but laplace transform of output by laplace transform of input if you are having multiple inputs and multiple outputs this transfer function techniques may not be easy but here analysis of multi input and multi output systems are very easy as we are having state vector so we can take all inputs as vector and we can take all outputs as vector so that means so we can take like a matrix so that we will get into the analysis when we get into the analysis then you use it to get the data how we are dealing with multi input multi output systems this is very very important by this state space analysis we are making easy of analysis of multi input and multi output systems so which is having two or more inputs and two or more outputs and here coming to another advantage gives information about controllability this is very important for your control system control system by this analysis we can say how, how much extent a system is controllable how much extent it can control it functionality or how much extent this having observability so all this will come with this state space analysis it will gives you an information about the system that how much extent that is controllable how it can perform so this is one more advantage by state space analysis and coming to another important advantage it is applicable to all dynamic systems it is applicable to all dynamic systems means if you know this analysis you can analyze all dynamic systems dynamic systems means linear system non linear system time variant system time invariant system all these are dynamic systems so if you know state space analysis any of this systems any of these four dynamic systems you can analyze so now here as you are having so many advantages like that you are having disadvantages too 
So, these two are the disadvantages complex techniques, but here as we are dealing with multi input to multi output or we are using some vectors and matrices and uh, like that techniques are complex, but process is easy it is a lengthy process and here many computations are required that is what I am telling. So, you require many computations. So, whenever you are doing many computations, so techniques also complex, complex techniques, but it will give so many advantages. If you agree for that, we can go with state space analysis. This is about a small introduction about state space analysis and advantages of state space analysis and some few disadvantages and by this introduction we I think we can get into the subject we can get into the analysis. So, in the next class onwards we will start analyzing the systems with state space analysis.